right, shalom one. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh Hashem, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakhadash. Never honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutations, and hopefully they got their pushing this word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shout out to the hopefully the believers, the listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shema Shai. And what I want to get into, all right, today, you know, just dealing with a um, lesson, you know, inspired by something, you know, that the beloved brother, um, Bayan Yashala, you know, he made a statement, you know, in um, one of his videos, <laughs> all right, and he said how, you know, the times that we're coming into, that, you know, there's a precept, you know, for every circumstance that we're going to find ourselves in. You know, and that goes into with just a precept you brought out. And I want to bring it out as well and expound on this Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of our salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah, because that's why you go into the scriptures, and the scriptures is what? The script. You know, it has everybody role in it. You know, what the scoffers going to be doing, what Esau Edom is going to be doing. Okay, the women, you know, going to be bugging out, you know, Jake wilding out. Okay, the Egyptian versus the Egyptian, you know, the, the, the famine. All right, the money collapse, the war, everything is in the script. And see what we're doing, we're constantly rehearsing this script. When we go into prophecy, we're constantly rehearsing the script. You know, it's just like the actor, you know, who has all his lines down pat. He's going to be confident you know, when it's time to shoot the movie, you know? So we've been going over these things over and over and over again to, it's a part of us, it's in us, man, you know? We're steady going through those repetition and repetition so we can perform, all right? Hey, when it, when it, when it's live, when these things are live, because soon privacy is finna go live, okay? You know, we read these things and the things that have come and we see it gradually getting that way, but pretty soon it's gonna be all the way live, man. Okay? So just as an actor, you know, he's constantly going over the script to the point that he knows line for line, he even knows the other people's lines, man. Okay, so he's fully confident when it's time to shoot the movie, man. Okay? So this wisdom and knowledge that we have with these scriptures is gonna be our stability in these times because we're gonna move accordingly, man. Okay? And then we're gonna be in the spirit. That's why even when you go here, okay, I believe that's uh Galatians. Um All right, this is the book of Galatians chapter five. All right, verse sixteen. This I say then, walk in the spirit. And what spirit are you walking in? The spirit of Yahweh by Shema Oshai. We're living according to that spirit. We're living, all right, according to the hope and expectation of what's written to happen. You know? We're, we're, we're living according to what's expected of us as believers. That's how we're moving. You know? So we're walking, all right, living in the spirit. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yeah, because... The spirit, the spirit within us, and then there's the Holy Spirit that's guiding us, man. <laughs> you see, like you can feel it in the spirit when something is off. You can feel it in the spirit when the spirit is green lighting some. You can feel it in the spirit when the spirit is shut, shutting something down. You know, but in order, you know, to have that spirit to where it's um uh, it's potent within us, okay, or what 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 is potent. Then we have to be in the spirit, man. See, Jake is going to be in the flesh. The majority of our people, they're going to be operating according to the flesh. Okay? They're going to be, be focused on practical things to try to eat practical things, you know, to try to, um, you know, maintain themselves. And that's when Esau is going to present their sea help. Okay? But we know we got an expectation of divine help, man. Okay? And we're going to be in a situation where we're going to have to you know, make practical decisions, but it's going to be based on what's written. See, Jake, all right, doesn't understand the script. 
That's why the scripts say, Jake, you know how people grope in the noonday. Okay? But no, we've been enlightened, you know, to our role in the movie. Because first of all, we understand, like, the more we understand our purpose, we understand what to do and what not to do. All right? We the sons of God. You know? We're, we're, we're a hopeful elect. The most high didn't set, set us up to take a seat here to plug back into the matrix, man. All right? To go eat a Bill Gates burger, all right? And, and continue the chase, you know, of Eve, you know, of, of, of washed up Eve, man. Okay? No, nah, we the sons of God. We're not here for that, man. We own something else, man. Okay? So even understanding our purpose makes us, uh, uh, uh makes, makes our decision making in these times even more easier, man. Okay, so I'm gonna get this here. All right, because this is repetition, man. Because just like even with sports, man, you know, or a boxer, you know, he practices this combo over and over. He practices his defense over and over, you know, to when it's time to fight, you know, these things are second nature to him. Okay, so we keep going into these things over and over. So when these things happen in real time, it's gonna be second nature, man. All right, and I'm gonna end it here. I ain't gonna make it long. Okay, just wanna lay him back. You know, the brother, you know, brought out earlier. All right, the beloved brother, Mian Yasha Allah. You know, make sure y'all subscribe. You know, if you're not subscribed, um, so let's go here to Second Ezra. All right, 16, this second Andrew 16, and and I started uh, 74, it says here, oh ye my beloved, okay, the Lord will, we're beloved of the most high, but we have this spirit as a token that we, it's a great chance we can be a part of that beloved, all right, the elect, okay, it says, say the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same, all right? And that's a comfort to us, man. And that's going to play a part in our decision-making, this precept, you know, being within us. The days of trouble, he told us we was going to be in certain situations, man. We was, it was going to be uncomfortable. We don't have to go through the straight gate. Through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom. We know the persecution is on the way. We know these things, man. Okay? But then it said he shall deliver us from the same. So that, all right, Precept is going to be one of those precepts that guides us through these things, man. You know, the understanding. All right? It said, be you not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is your guide. Okay, we're going to be guided through this thing. You know, we're going to have to trust in Yahweh Shem You know, we're going to have to make decisions that hey, it's going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> okay? And it's going to be based about what we want to do is what got to be done according to what's written, man. Okay? So, yeah, man, wisdom, all right, is, is going to be our stability, man. <laughs> okay, understanding the script, you know? So, yeah, I just want to bring that out, Lord Will, it was edifying. The next time I say, Shalom, Kwan Yashallah, Bob, Bob, BTA, soon, Shalom.